floor exercise performance by the reigning world champion Alicia Sacramoni in more than just one way. First, she didn't score well, and there looks to be an issue with her knee. Now, during the commercial break, Marta Caroli, who oversees everything in this kingdom, went over and told her coach and Alicia, listen, big picture, if you're hurt, pull out. You'll still be part of the world championships coming up in a couple of months. This is not going to change your status of how we view you as a gymnast. And that's all being weighed right now in the uh, Sacramony camp. Now, uh, Natasha Kelly put up a 15.7. They were pretty happy about that. On the beam, Tasha. And this lady right here, Ashley Baker, when we were sitting down talking to Tasha, she says, hey, you know what? I went to New England Gymnastics, and when you went to the Olympic Games, I was in a cartwheel-a-thon to help raise money for you and your family to make it out to Los Angeles in 1984. So she said, there's our connection right there. I couldn't believe it. And Tim, didn't you go on to buy that gym that she was a part of? Yeah, <laughs> pretty amazing, yep. Daggett Gymnastics, so it's a small world. What a great job they have done with this athlete. You know, she had the highest difficulty score in the competition on this event the other night. Because of skills like that. Remember the two scores that you see today in gymnastics. The one score is about what you do in the routine, the difficulty. The other score is based on how well you perform it, the execution. Listen to Natasha Kelly talk. If you close your eyes, don't you hear a little bit of Carly Patterson in there? Oh, for sure. You do, and it's it's really remarkable because in addition to having Mary yeah, Lou a part of their gym, Carly Patterson and this young la lady right here started in the same gym in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're both there for about seven years, so there are a lot of parallels there. Two events down and two to go in this night where a national champion will be crowned and decisions and opinions will be formed about who will represent the United States in the upcoming world championships. Now, Alicia Sacramoni, last we saw, she had her knee iced up. What's going on there? Let's go to Andrea Joyce. Well, Al Marta Caroli spoke to Alicia after her floor routine. She urged her to be cautious. She reminded Sacramoni not to take a risk. It wouldn't be worth it. Don't take a risk with an injury with the world's coming up in October. Alicia was checked out by Dr. Larry Nasser. She said she felt fine, and at this point, she's planning on continuing. So much so that she stands right now, ready for the vault. Yeah, she better feel fine, because this is the event that's going to put the most stress on it, and when you're as powerful as she is, it's, it's unbelievable pressures on that knee. Not to mention the power, but what she's actually about to do. This is super difficult. Everything looked fine there. Jeez. It's like she spit in the eye of pain. <laughs> and yeah, Marta Caroli said, don't worry about it, but you got to believe that she also wants to see a tough kid. And to deal with a little bit of adversity like that and come out and do a vault like that, that earns her points in my eyes and Marta's as well. 15.8, the judges liked it too. Natasha <laughs> Kelly gets rewarded with a 15.75 as we continue to try and figure out what these new scores mean. Make sure you get over. Be aggressive, don't hold back. Be aggressive, don't hold back. That's Valery Lyukin, the Soviet gold medalist, now very much an American, coaching his daughter right there it's not just that your body is pointing straight up but what we call your shoulder angle has to be completely open as well now to
of the floor exercise and Chelsea Come Memo. On, Again, you'll be hearing her dad, Andy. She had a 15.2 on the beam. I'll tell you, one of the things she on, has yeah. really going for her is she's been doing most of the stuff that she's competing today for so long. Turn from <laughs> okay. That's good. I like the endings. You forgot to go out of bounds. Good. Good job. Thanks. You said that pull up. He really comes across as such a calm, hey, reassuring force in their their bond. Yeah, he sure does. I'll tell you. She is, if there was an athlete yeah. that you would need to depend on, it would be Chelsea Memo. <laughs> one more double, someone said. She managed to do all that tumbling and stay in bounds. <laughs> and obviously the color is pink for Team Memo. That's mom. She's got to be envious of all the time that dad gets to spend with their daughter. 15.25. And again, the 9.25 execution, that means she had 0.75 deductions. Back to Yana Beeger, for example, she had eight tenth deductions from a 10 to a 9.2. And that's the new world of mathematical gymnastics. Now, Nasi Liuka needs to rebound here. That 14.7 really interrupted their world and gave everybody all sorts of opportunities now to attack the national championship that she holds. And once again, in night one, neither Valeria or Nastia is very happy with the landing of this ball. Let's see how it goes tonight. A little bit better. A little bit better. The hop was just in a different direction. Instead of to the side, it was forward. Yeah. It's slowing. So we funny. get English. <laughs> yes, we get English when things are good. We get Russian when things are not. It's just amazing. I mean, they live by a gold standard. Oh, That's yeah. all there is to it. Every little tiny thing, like that small little hop, that's something that Valeri would very much like to erase. He wants perfect, perfectly stuck landings. And he didn't get that, and neither did she. And now she's got a 15.0 to go with her 14.7. And guess what? Natasha Kelly has jumped into the lead of this national championship. How big of an upset would that be? It would be huge, but don't forget, Nastia Lukin, two events left. She's world champion on both of them. And now you wonder, Natasha Kelly, have you looked at the scoreboard? Do you know what the numbers are? And if, in fact, you did, what do you think of being in first place with Nastia Liukin being the world?